Hey guys, it's Brett, your independent Sensi consultant. I'm here with my post warm reviews part one from January 2023, Bring Back My Bar. So as you know, they are now available starting January 1st. We as consultants were able to purchase them, uh, I think it was December 19th, I think it was, when we first were able to order them and then we got them, like I think I got them around the 23rd of December. We already did our first sniffs video. I did it with Brad, the first sniffs video, and let you know what we thought of them. And now I've warmed through half of them. I've warmed through 13, well, a little bit more than half. I've warmed through 13, I have 12 more to go. So I think I'm gonna just break it up in two videos this, this year. And then, well, this Bring Back One Bar, last Bring Back One Bar in June, I did like, I think three parts on the post warm reviews. But I'm gonna do two parts this time. So I have 12 left to go after this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here and let you know what I thought of them and how they performed. So I warmed these all, I didn't warm them, first up, let you know, I didn't warm any of these in our open concept because I feel like that's really not a fair assessment because lots of times things aren't gonna be near as strong in a open concept. So I didn't wanna melt it and warm it in my open concept and then it'd be really light and then say, oh, it's really light, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, you would warm it in a bedroom, it would be perfectly fine. So I tried to keep most of these in I, three different places. It was either in our kitchen, in the master bedroom and master bath, and then our bedroom downstairs, which is our future sensory room. We haven't got it together yet. It's still just the bedroom. We have stuff, hopefully by this spring, we can get it all together and have all our sensory, the computer down there and all our stuff. And I can start filming videos down there. It's just not together yet. So I'm just gonna say the downstairs bedroom right now. But those are the three places that, we, uh, that I warmed these, well, Brad and I warmed them. Brad's at work right now. I'm just doing this video myself. Um, so I've made notes. I got plenty of notes here. Look, I have like four pages of notes here of all these that I wrote down so I wouldn't forget. So I'll probably be accessing my notes a little bit here. Okay, so first up, we will start out with Cranberry Muffin. Cranberry Muffin is the first one that I warmed. Cranberry muffin is bursting with bright cranberries enveloped in a buttery brown sugar batter with nuances of walnuts and toffee. This was really good. I loved this one. This one was so good. This I had it going in our kitchen. In the kitchen, I have it in, <clears throat> excuse me, I have two warmers in our kitchen. I have a 25 watt, the Every Moment Matters warmer, 25 watt, and then I have a 25 watt um, Winter Retreat, which was the December warmer of the month. I had that warmer. So I had two cubes going in each of those warmers. This was so good. This was such a good bakery scent. So good. I really get that cranberry. Definitely get the cranberry, but then you get the bakery and it's such a good bakery with this. Um, I have really good bakery scent. You get the cranberry and the buttery brown sugar, definitely for sure. Um, I didn't get the walnuts or toffee. I didn't really get, I didn't get any kind of nuttiness with this and I didn't even get really get toffee. But I did get, definitely got that buttery brown sugar, but you get like bakeriness. It doesn't even have bakery in the notes necessarily, did it? Uh, no, not necessarily. I mean the brown sugar batter. Oh, well, it says brown, buttery brown sugar batter. So I guess that would be the bakery notes. That's the buttery brown sugar batter, which could come off bakery. But yeah, I, I don't know if I got, but batter is more just, I got like a muffin. It, it's like a bakery muffin, really good. Yeah, you just get a good sugary bakery muffin with tart cranberry in there. Yes, really good. It's, this was did really good. It was probably about a seven, seven and a half out of 10 or so, maybe even almost eight out of 10 at times. Probably at first it was like eight out of 10 and that kind of went down a little bit. Yeah, it was really good. And this uh, this was about one day. It might've lingered a little bit into the second day. Most of these I kind of did for like two days. So yeah, it was good. I would definitely repurchase this. This possible club worthy, this one here. So. I also want to mention here too, I had to start a new club up because I have my quarterly club, so it was scheduled to come out in November, but we were a little tight on money because we just moved to our house and everything, and we were getting all the stuff for the house together and everything, and I had my club, which I, ordered, I put a lot of stuff in my club from the last spring back my bar, so I had quite a big club, and I was like, I just can't afford to like have that order shipped right now because we're just that's too much money to spend right now. So I thought I was gonna go in there and just delete stuff down, but I couldn't decide what I wanted to take out. I just, so I just deleted the whole thing. I just deleted the whole thing. I can't believe I did that because there were some bars in there I really wanted to keep, but I just deleted the whole thing. I'm like, I don't absolutely have to have these bars. So I just deleted it all. 
But now what I did, I just started a new club uh, like a week or two ago and I put just three bars in there. It's a small little club. I put three bars in there because I knew Bring Back My Bar was coming. So, but I'm going to be super, super picky on what I put in there because I don't want it to be really big again because then it'll ship out again in March. But then March is my birthday, so that will be my birthday present. So I'm going to say I want my club is going to be my birthday present. But then it, it won't ship again until after that, until June. So hopefully we'll be a little bit better come June. So yeah, I got a club again, I, but I canceled all those bars I had in there and had some ones in there I really liked. But anyway, this is possible club worthy, but I'm having to be really strict with it. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll wait to decide on after the whole, after I melt everything, then I'll decide which ones I might want to put in my club. All right. So next up is coconut pumpkin pie. And this one, this is fall's most treasured fragrance enjoys an unexpected, unexpectedly exotic touch as pumpkin puree, grated nutmeg and maple sugar are heightened by a hint of coconut shavings. So this one was, it was okay. It was nice. I mean, the scent is nice, but I don't know. It just, it was just kind of okay. It didn't really do a whole lot for me. So I had this going downstairs and the downstairs bedroom, I have a 25 watt or I'm sorry. Yeah. 25 watt, uh, the gray classic curve warmer. And then I had, I had two cubes in that and I had two cubes in the 20 watt wild desert warmer, which was the warmer of the month from uh, July last year. So yeah, I have, this is a nice baker scent. I get the pumpkin with a hint of the coconut shavings. You do get that coconut shavings in there with that pumpkin. Um, yeah, it was the nutmeg. What did they say? All nutmeg and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, pumpkin puree, grated nutmeg, maple sugar. Yeah, you get all that kind of, and then the toasted coconut in there, but it just, I don't know. It just wasn't, it wasn't anything super special to me. It was nice and I did not, not like, I didn't dislike it, but it was just kind of okay. Um, I have, it was nice, not a repurchase for me. It was about a seven out of 10. So it was a medium, uh, throw. Um, lingered for like three days though. They did linger quite a while. I had this one going almost three days down there and it did linger into three days. I mean, it got lighter each day, but yeah, it's even now smelling. It's nice, but it's just, I don't know. I just, it didn't stand out to me really compared to other scents. I mean, it was different because of that coconut shavings in there, but yeah, I don't know. Nice, but probably not a repurchase for me. Next up we have vanilla cream. This is French vanilla with a touch of coconut milk. This one totally surprised me. If you saw our first nest video, I said this was basically just like a, kind of like a very basic, like dollar store vanilla scent, like a candle you would get. To me, by saying that, it was like, those dollar store vanilla candles are kind of like waxy and then like vanilla. You get like a waxy smell with vanilla. That's kind of what I got with this, especially on the bottom. Not so much on the top, when I smell the top, but on the bottom, I really got that but I thought it was nothing special. Oh my gosh, when I warmed this, this thing was amazing. I loved this when it warmed. It, it totally surprised me. So I had this going in our master bedroom in the master bath. I had one cube in the bedroom. I have two uh, Salerno warmers, 25 watt Salerno warmers in the bedroom. I had one cube in each of those. And then I have a, I had one cube in my 25 watt bubbled air desert warmer in the bathroom. And then I also have a 15 watt gingerbread man mini warmer in the bathroom. So I had one cube in each of those warmers. And of course the master bath is right by the master bedroom. So it just kind of all mingles in there together. But yeah, this is such a good vanilla scent. Really, really good vanilla scent. It's, it's nothing but vanilla. It's vanilla. It's like a creamy vanilla. It's not super creamy like vanilla bean buttercream. It doesn't have that super rich buttercream, like really buttery buttercream type of scent, but it's got a little bit of a creaminess to it. I didn't get any kind of coconut. Was it coconut milk? I didn't really get any kind of coconut or anything. I didn't get anything. And I just got a vanilla, simple vanilla, nothing else, which is a little bit of a creamy vanilla. Just, if you want just plain vanilla, this is it. Some people have said that reminds them of simply vanilla. I had that last year, but I thought that had a little bit of a perfuminess to it. I didn't get any kind of perfuminess with this one. I feel like this is just pure vanilla pure vanilla with a little bit of a creaminess in there. Yeah, it was so good though. I just couldn't believe how much I liked this. When I was warming, I kept going in the bedroom and like, oh my God, it smells so good in here. 
I love vanilla scents too, but I just, like I said on cold, I thought it was just a basic dollar store type of vanilla, but when it warmed, it totally surprised me. It was not like that at all. Oh, it's so good. So, so good. Um, I have really good, simple vanilla scent, but uh, I said good, liked it better, liked it much better warming. Just vanilla, nothing else. I would definitely repurchase this. That's very strong for the vanilla scent. Sometimes the vanilla scents aren't super strong, but this was. It was really good. Um, it was about a seven to eight out of 10 in my bedroom, in the bathroom, master bath, really good. Lingered for about three days too. That's really good for vanilla scent too, because I had this going almost three days. About third day, I could still kind of smell it and it's lingering in my bedroom and master bath. Yeah, I this is possible club for me because I love me just a good plain vanilla scent. I really like that one a lot. Loved it. All right, next up we have green tea smoothie. Green tea smoothie is a splash of cool green tea against bright ginger, peach nectarine, and cranberry. So this one I was really disappointed in. It was so light, really light. Um, the scent was okay. I had this in the kitchen and my two warmers in the kitchen, I already told you what warmers they were. I'm not gonna go over that again. Uh, I got mostly the peach, the nectarine, and a little bit of cranberry. I didn't really get much of the green tea or any kind of matcha or I didn't get ginger in there either really. No ginger spice at all really. Just the sweet kind of fruitiness. Yeah, there's a hair there. Yeah, I I mean you can maybe get a hint of that green tea but not on cold but when I warmed it I really didn't get any of that green tea. Um, yeah, I got mostly peach nectarine and then a little bit of cranberry. I mean it kind of could have been like a smoothie but yeah, I I didn't really get green tea or ginger or spices or anything in there. The scent was okay, but nothing great to me. And then the throw was really light. It was like a four out of ten. Yeah. At at last if the low throw was like a day to maybe sorry, washing machine's going off. Uh the second day I could just maybe barely smell it still, but it was so light it didn't really matter. Yeah, I disappointed with this one. I would not repurchase that one. Didn't care for that one. Next up we have Mediterranean Spa. And this says relax with this smooth, fresh, and breezy scent. So it doesn't say much in the description. So this, I really enjoyed this one. This one, such a good fresh. It's like a spa, but it's very fresh. I do get that lemon, I said lemongrass in my haul, or first sniffs. Lemongrass, I think, was it uh, Patricia Gates? I think she said lemon verbena. Yeah, kind of lemon verbena, lemongrass type of scent. I agree with that. It's got that lemon for sure in there. Um, some people might even say lemon cleaner, but not really. It's definitely a fresh clean. I have very clean, fresh, spa-like scent, lemongrass or lemon verbena, like Patricia Gates said. Smells so good every time I enter the bedroom. Oh, God, it did. Every time I go in the bedroom, I'm like, this smells so good and fresh in there. This is such a good fresh scent for spring, just to freshen things up. If you're, you know, because I've had so many heavy scents for like super spicy cinnamon scents and your bakery scents and things like that for fall and uh, winter. So this is really good and fresh. Um, this was strong too. It was like a nine out of 10, almost a 10 out of 10 in the bedroom. And I only had one cube and all those warmers in there, um, even though there were four warmers, but yeah, really good. It lasted for about three days. This thing lingered three days, and I think it probably could have lingered even longer than that, but I had to get it out of there to, to try out more stuff. But yeah, I I like this. I thought it was good. I would repurchase this again. Yeah, I think I think it was good. That's good fresh scent. Next up we have hazelnut latte. This is frothy steamed milk, toasted hazelnuts, espresso, and vanilla with a dusting of cinnamon. This was amazing. I love this one, you guys. Yeah, this was so good. Really, really good. So I definitely get the espresso in this one. Um, I have so, so good. Uh, it was good. It was like eight out of 10 when I first warmed it. Uh, yeah, so let me talk about what I smell first. So it's just like a hazelnut latte. You get the espresso, steamed milk, hazelnut. I didn't get cinnamon really. No, I didn't get much cinnamon on cold or warming. But I did get all the stuff like this in a, a latte. All the stuff I just said, really, really good. Um, I, later in the day, though, the espresso wore off. 
like I smelled it really good at first mixed with all those other things but then later in the day I didn't the coffee like just disappeared and I just got like a vanilla scent it was like it smelled just like a vanilla scent almost like vanilla cream I'm like wow it just smells like vanilla in here but I lost the coffee but I would say probably the first four to five hours it was really good and then the last part of the day it just kind of went to like I said like a vanilla scent but it was like eight to ten that first few hours three to four hours really really good or five maybe and then it was probably like a six to seven later when it became just that vanilla type of scent it was like a six to seven um yeah it so this is per and then the next day i really couldn't smell shit all with this so it lasted just like it's like a one day -er. but it was so good and i would definitely repurchase this one i probably want to put it in my club too or at least get a couple extra to have on hand because it was so good really enjoyed that one and next up we have autumn blaze maple a bountiful harvest of crisp apples and earthy pumpkins with golden maple syrup, warm cinnamon, and a ribbon of smoldering oak. So this one was good. I did like this one. I have, it's a nice scent. Definitely get the maple syrup, then the oak and cinnamon. Yes, I really get the maple syrup. That stands out the most to me. Definitely get the maple. And then I do get like the cinnamon and the oak next. And then after that, I get the apple and pumpkin. The apple and pumpkin is not the super prominent note in this. It's definitely that maple. So yeah, it's very fall. It is a very fall scent. Um, I kept thinking it was similar to something else, something like from Bath and Body Works or something. And then I was reading on Elizabeth Scenes and Scents here on YouTube. She was, she had mentioned in her comments that she was thinking maybe this was similar to Radiant Red Maple from Bath and Body Works. It's been so long since I smelled that. I really wish I had that candle here to compare, but I'm thinking maybe it did. But I couldn't be 100% positive because it's been so long. From scent memory, I'm thinking maybe it kind of did smell like that, but God, it's been so long since I've had that candle. But yeah, it just reminds me of something. It could be that. I'm not sure. But yeah, I did like it. Uh, it was a medium throw. I had it downstairs in the downstairs bedroom and those two 20. Well, 22 cubes and 25 warmer and two in the 20 watt warmer. Uh, it was about a seven out of 10 down there. Um, lasted a couple days. Maybe would we purchase this? Maybe. All right, and the next up we have Sticky Cinnamon Bun. Cinnamon and sweet icing with warm, nutty nuances. So this one, yeah, went went. Wah, wah, wah. I did not like this one. I had this going in the kitchen and my two warmers in the kitchen. I had two cubes in each of the warmers. So on cold, I thought this was mostly cinnamon with a little bit of icing. Didn't have that, didn't have that bun, the bakery bun part. Warming, I would say you get just a little bit more of the bun than what, you, than what it was on cold, but still not very much. Yeah, it's just mostly cinnamon and that you do get like that icing but no buns, no bakery, no bakery really that much. Just maybe just a little hint more than you did on cold, but still not very much. I didn't get nutty nuances either. Mostly just cinnamon and a little bit of that sweet icing. Um, I have, it's just okay. Uh, just kind of like a typical kind of cinnamon with sweet icing. I feel like this is maybe similar to other cinnamons I've had, but like it just doesn't have that bakery that I wanted. Uh, it was like, it was like a six to six and a half out of 10. Not super strong, but I definitely could smell it. Yeah, I needed more bun. Would not a repurchase. Don't want none unless you got buns, hun. All right, next up is Peppermint Rush. Peppermint, sweet vanilla and, a co and an accord of freshly fallen snow. So I thought this was actually pretty good. I really did, I like this one. I liked it. It's definitely, to me, I get like a cross between peppermint and spearmint. In our first sniffs, we, Brad said it smelled like gum, and then he thought winter green, and then I was like, kind of, actually, then we discovered we thought it smelled more like spearmint gum, like Wrigley spearmint gum, the white gum, the white package. Yeah, it's like spearmint. It's like a cross between peppermint and spearmint. But it's really nice, it's really good. I don't know if I get like, um, what did it say vanilla? Yeah, it says 
vanilla and a quart of fallen snow. Maybe the fallen snow because it's a little cool. Like, I don't, maybe just a hint of vanilla. It's not super a lot of vanilla. But yeah, um, I have, I liked it. I got spearmint slash peppermint mix, touch of vanilla, but not, not creamy or anything. Very cool feeling. Um, I had this in the uh, master bedroom and the master bath. One cube and all those warmers. It was strong. It was like a 9 out of 10 in the bathroom and an 8 out of 10 in the bedroom. It was stronger in the bathroom. Um, I went in the bathroom one time and it was like, God, it was so strong, but it was so good. It was like, ah, just minty and fresh and just, ooh, it smells so good in there. Yeah, it was so good. I really like this more than I thought I was going to. I would repurchase this for sure. I like that one. Next up, we have Cucumber Lime. Cool, refreshing blend of mellow cucumber and tangy lime. So I really like this one too. This was good. This one, mostly I get the cucumber and then just a little bit of lime. It's definitely not lime with a little bit of cucumber. It's definitely cucumber with a little bit of lime. Um, like just a little bit. It's mostly that green cucumber note. Almost comes off grass, grassy, like green grass. A lot of people have said that, I totally agree. I love green scents. I love grass scents. I love cucumber scents. Anything green I love. If you watch my channel, you know I love green scents. Brad and I both do. I love earthy green scents, herbaly scents, garden type of scents, um, all that kind of stuff. This is like that. You get, it's like cucumber, like I said, just a little touch of lime, but it comes off kind of grassy. So I have Really liked it, mostly cucumber with just a slight hint of lime. Very green, almost green grass-like, and you get the cucumber. Um, I had this going, did I already say this? Yeah, in the master. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't have this in the bedroom. I had it in the master bath. Did I say the bedroom? It was, I switched things up and I only did this in the master bath. I did two cubes in the 25 watt bubbled air descent warmer and two cubes in the 15 watt um, alabaster mini warmer because I took out my gingerbread mini warmer after Christmas and I put the alabaster one back in there. So I had, actually four cubes in that master bath it did really good though um, it was like a seven and a half to eight out of ten really strong definitely repurchase possibly club i'd love that next up we have perk me up simply the most perfect cup of coffee you'll ever experience a strong brew of guatemalan coffee beans and just a touch of hazelnut oh i was disappointed in this one so yeah, it's pretty much what it says. I mean, the reason I was disappointed because it was super light. It was so light. I, what I did get, I smelled it stronger right at first, but what I got was definitely those Guatemalan coffee beans, I guess, definitely get the coffee beans. And then just a little sweetness to it, so maybe it's just a little touch of hazelnut. It's not, a, very sweet at all. It's just get a little touch of that. It's definitely not as sweet as a hazelnut latte was. But it's just got a touch of sweetness, so it could maybe be a touch of hazelnut. I don't really get nuttiness, but it's just got a slight sweetness to it. So yeah, I had this going in the kitchen. I had two cubes in both those warmers I have in the kitchen. Um, I have so disappointed. Love this scent, but very light. Probably a three to a four out of ten. I probably would have loved it if it was stronger. Definitely would have loved it if it was stronger because I liked what I was smelling, but it was just so light. Um, which is that slight bit of sweetness with the coffee. Um, not a repurchase, sadly, because it was just too light. So I liked hazelnut latte way much, way better because it was stronger and just gave me way more than this did. I will say though, I gotta say this. Yesterday is when I melted this. I put it in the warmers in the kitchen right when I got up. Then I made pancakes for breakfast. So I made pancakes and then I made some maple sausage. I fried up some maple sausage for breakfast. So that immediately, like I was smelling the breakfast more than this. That sometimes happens when you cook food, it'll just kill whatever fragrance you have going. So I'm like, okay, I probably can't smell it because I'm cooking this breakfast food, right? So even though before I started cooking it, I still was smelling it, but not super, super strong, but of course stronger than I was when I was cooking. But then even after I cooked, I still wasn't able to smell it. Hours later, I still wasn't able to smell it that way, that very well, very well at all. And then Brad has said last night, he was like, well, I'm still smelling the breakfast food in the kitchen. So he was thinking just that lingering breakfast food was somehow making this not as strong. 
So I put two more cubes because I put, um, I did two cubes each warmer yesterday. So I put two more cubes, well, I put one cube in each warmer to, just today. Just a little bit ago, I went in there and I put it in there. So I'm going to give it a second chance. I'm not cooking anything today so far. So I'm, it should give me a good, fair assessment of what it's like. So stay tuned to my part two and I'll let you know if this changed the second time I'm trying it. But so far, it's kind of doing them like it was. The other, I mean, I went in there just a little bit ago and I'm still, I can smell it, but it's light. So we'll see how it does the rest of the day. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm still thinking it's going to be light. And I've heard others say it's kind of light too, so we'll see. But yeah, I prefer hazelnut latte over this. But we'll see. Stay tuned and see if it's any different when I'm trying it today. So yeah, I would not repurchase that based on my first experience with it. Next up we have pear blossom and cucumber. It's the blooming beauty of spring, a resplendent garden flourishing with delicate pear blossom, rain kissed jasmine, honeydew, and Meyer lemon smoothed by a splash of cucumber water. So this one, I got, I pretty much got all of that. I definitely got like the honeydew melon um, and the Meyer lemon and the like little cucumber, but I did also get that floral. I got the pear blossom and the rain kiss jasmine. I did get like a rain kind of vibe. Oh, excuse me. I did get like a watery rain kind of stuff with the floral, but then the honeydew melon, uh, honeydew melon and a little bit of lime is, or lemon, honeydew melon, just a little bit of lemon and that cucumber. It wasn't super lemony or anything, but it, yeah, very fresh scent, but it was really light. I have, yeah, super light. I have here, um, so so light this was almost i think this was lighter than the perk me up this was like a two to three maybe out of ten i had this going in my master bedroom not the bathroom just the master bedroom i had two cubes because i was doing this one right when i was doing cucumber line in the master bath uh two cubes in each of my salonar warmers so i had four cubes going in the bedroom so i should have been able to smell this and like i said i could smell it what i smelled i liked but it was really light Two to three out of ten. Um, I said I got a floral pear blossom and rain kiss jasmine. You do get a rain watery type of note. I got the honeydew and a slight bit of the Meyer lemon, but not super lemony. Um, you do get the water, um, the cucumber water, but not super green cucumber. Like that cucumber line had that real green note. That wasn't like that in this one. But you got like a watery cucumber, but it was a light green cucumber scent compared to that one. Um, I might have really liked it if it was stronger. Yeah, I think I would have, because I did really like the scent of what I was smelling, but it was just so, so light, like really light. I'm like, gosh, I wish this would have been stronger, because I maybe possibly would have got it again. Maybe even club, I don't know, but it was just so light. It didn't do anything for me. That was definitely needed to be stronger. So yeah, not a purchase of that one. And then lastly, we have Pima Cotton. Last for the part one here. A light, clean blend of lilies, freesia, and jasmine. This was good. I like this one. This is just, it's like pretty much a cotton. Cotton laundry scent. If you like cotton laundry scents, I'll think you like this. If you don't like cotton laundry scents, don't get this because it's super strong. It's really strong. I would say on the first day, it was like a 9, to 10, nine out of 10 to almost a 10 out of 10. I have this going down in the downstairs bedroom. I had two cubes in each of those warmers. Yeah, it was yesterday when I put it in there. And that all day yesterday, it was super strong. Really good. I mean, I went down there, I was like, wow, it's so strong. Today, it's not quite as strong, but I definitely can still smell it. It's probably like a seven out of 10 day on the second day. So it's still doing well on the second day. So it'll probably linger even to the third day. But I wanted to get this review up, so it's, it's still going downstairs right now. And I can still smell it, but it's not quite as strong as it was yesterday. So if you don't like laundry scents, like I said, you might not want to get this because it's really strong. But if you do like laundry scents, really good. I have definitely a laundry scent similar to clothesline. You know, it's kind of like in that vein. It's got the little bit of floral notes that clothesline did too. I get the lilies, the freesia, jasmine, and with a cotton laundry type of scent. But I really liked it. I think it's really good and fresh. It's very good to freshen things up for spring or like put in your laundry room. I just thought this was very refreshing. I really liked it. So I think I would repurchase this one. I don't know about club, but I would probably repurchase it again. Get a bar or two more. 
So that is it for my part one of Bring Back My Bar. And I'm, I've really been enjoying doing this. I love reviewing these and taking notes and I love watching everybody else's videos and seeing what they thought. It's so funny how everybody's noses are different. Some people get certain things, some people don't get certain things, some people love things, some people hate things and vice versa. I mean, we all have a different sense, so everybody has different noses and everybody loves different things. So um, I've already started melting some more. I have one new scent today that I have going in the bedroom. I started on a uh, woodland suede is going in the bedroom right now. So that'll be my first one in my part two. So I'll have 12 more in my part two and then I will give you my final assessment of everything. So out of these here, I will list my favorites here. All right, so I haven't ordered my favorite to least favorite, so I'm gonna go here real quick. My favorite, surprisingly, vanilla cream. Who would have thought? I, this was, I think, my favorite. I just love this one so much. That's my number one. Cranberry muffin, number two. Love that one too, that was really good. Number three, cucumber lime. I loved that one. Number four, hazelnut latte. I loved that one as well. Mediterranean spa is number five. I really enjoyed that one. Number six, Peppermint Rush, I like that. And number seven, Pima Cotton. So those seven are ones I definitely would repurchase. Some of them were possibly club. So that's pretty good, seven out of 13. I really, really liked. The next two are kind of like in the middle. We have Autumn Blaze Maple. I like that one, so that's possibly repurchase. And then um, this one, Coconut Pumpkin Pie. I, I said not a repurchase. But I did kind of like it. I don't think I'd repurchase, but it wasn't terrible. So that's kind of in the middle. And then these last four are the ones I just didn't really like and are not for sure, definitely not a repurchase. Because a lot of them are just too light. Perk me up, love the scent, just way too light. And then uh, I lost track of what these are. These are the last four. So we've got uh, 13, 12, the 10. So that was 10. Well, number 11 is sticky cinnamon bun. Just not enough bun. And then 12, did I say 11? That was 11, this is 12. Pear Blossom and Cucumber. I like the scent, just really, really super light. And then lastly, number 13, my least favorite was Green Tea Smoothie. I just, it was really light and then I just, what I did smell, I wasn't super, super crazy about. So it, I wasn't super crazy about the scent and it was super light. So that was my least favorite overall out of the first. The first 13 so stay tuned to my part two and then i will talk about those and then i'll give you my overall thoughts and my favorites and what i decided i want to club and all that stuff in the part two all right so hope you are all enjoying your new year and enjoying your bring back my bars if you've got them and if you haven't got them and you ordered them hope you enjoy them when you get them and hope this helps a little bit just if you haven't ordered them and you can decide what you may like you know based on it but watch everybody's reviews because everybody has different noses like i said all right, so thanks for watching, and I will see you all in our next video. Bye.